being an attorney at law in Jamaica and looking out for the vulnerable population. And that include in the past couple of years, reparatory justice and big on culture and big, and big on human rights because I have been at the forefront, I believe, of discrimination and seeing violation based on people's religious beliefs. I grew up in a community where my grandfather and relatives went through prosecution, persecution um, for their religious beliefs. And it, it didn't mean what it, it, it is looking like now. But at that time, it was obvious that something was different and something was wrong. And I got a front row seat to other forms of othering and discrimination. And for me, it propelled me into understanding what my, 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 my calling is. Because if we are satisfied with people being held back in life, people being marginalized on the basis of their sexuality, on the basis of their disability, on the basis of their HIV status, if we have the power as, as politicians and lawmakers to make a difference and we, we do not, then something is inherently wrong with that. When, when some people have the laws set against them and you can see the direct connection between that and their inability to earn, their inability to get good health care, their inability to send their children to school, their inability to access the general resources and, and you are comfortable with that, something's wrong. So I am pushed by the calling of, of humanity.